There may come a day when you'll need to scavenge for supplies. I'm gonna help you and give you some tips. Come on, let's go do some scavenging. Any one of these houses would be ideal for scavenging. Let's just start with this one. First thing I like to do is check the door. There's always a chance. Instead of just smashing my way in, I always look for a key, somewhere they would hide. Hey, look at that. Why would that be right here? Why wouldn't this be up at the front door, unless they were hiding a key under it? When you first come in the house, you want to keep the door open so you can make a quick escape if something comes at you. Make a loud noise and see what happens. Kaka! 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 Looks like we're all alone. What's that? Oh, it's alive. Live cat. That is a good sign. That means there is no zombies anywhere in this area. Well, at least it's contained. It's behind the door. We'll make a note on our map, and we'll come back later and clear that room, because that looks like a master bedroom, and there'll be lots of valuable things in there. For sure a master bathroom with untold treasures in the medicine cabinet. We'll make a note, and we'll come back later with the team. Right now, we're just going to clear what we can by ourselves. There's a bed with some cat food. That's how that cat stayed alive. Oh, the kitchen. Let's see what we can forage in here. Pantry, oh, it's been picked clean. Empty, empty, ah! Oh. For this, a couple cans of food right here. This is all you need. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? What's up? Oh, yeah. There's something behind that door, but I heard something else. There's something else. What the heck? 